What was the freakiest thing y'all did? I know you're not gonna tell y'all. Let's go. What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy Dento Deanna. Welcome back to my channel. Are you poppin'? Because I know I am. Okay, I am back with another video. As you guys can see by the title, this is going to be a drunk Q and A with who? Other than Ricky Thompson. Let's yeah, go, bitch. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Okay, so if I'm a little bit off, if I'm a little bit off, I'm, I'm drunk. Oh, bitch, bitch, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Bitch, we're both drunk. I, right, y'all know I really don't drink like that. I drink for occasions, but you know, me and Ricky have been a point. We've been chilling, but like we don't really, we chill, but like we don't post the videos online, so people think we don't be chilling. But um, yeah, I actually got some Twitter to ask for some Q and A's while we're drunk, and we're gonna answer them. I'm pretty more loose, probably. I mean, if it's a personal question, she may not like, answer for me, but maybe for Ricky, because I'm not that, I'm not really that person when it comes I'm to stuff. Book. I'm drunk, but bitch, she will never be that drunk. Okay. Um, this is my chaser. I'm bring, I am too, bitch. Bring the, bring the. Are you actually? I am. Bitch, you see me wobbling and shit, bitch. I don't wobble. I'm too big to be wobbling, bitch. Bring me the bottle. So while we're drinking, you know, it's one who we are. But this is a special bottle because it was sent to Ricky by um, Halsey and, and Marshmallow. Marshmallow. As you can see, she's in grave. Literally. Sorry. So who is Don Julio, 1942? Drake. He Drake. does. Yeah, that's yeah. his favorite. And that's the one. Period. Period. Don't say. There are so many questions. We only pick like 10 to like, I only pick like 12. 10. 10 though. 10 is a lot. 10 What's is 10? very like short. Um, cause I feel like we talk a lot. I mean, you talk a lot. I do talk a lot. <laughs> okay, so if we don't answer how many questions we gonna answer, okay? And if y'all want a part two, please let us know down in the comments down below. Y'all want a part two, like let's not lie. Period. Hey darling, if this is your first time seeing my face and all my existence, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe, 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 that helps me a lot. If you, yes you, if you're watching this video right now, stop this video and get to the big fat sick thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get right on into this video. Oh, wait, I'm gonna do it. Show me, darling. He gave me this necklace. I love these necklaces. Did the brother concha. I love girl. these necklaces, but I've never really purchased them. I don't know where to purchase them, but yeah. Amazon. Bring, for real, that's it. Get pictures on Amazon. Amazon everywhere. We're not gonna go give him promo because, you know, he's, a, he's on his way to Trillion there, but we'd stop it, but. Did you say that? Trillion there. <laughs> Trillion <there. laughs> Who needs that much money? What the f do you need a trillion? I wouldn't, if I had a trillion dollars, my, like, half of my money would be going back to just building things in, like, low communities for the minorities. Exactly, but like you that. want trillion in your account. I know you I, do. I, I <laughs> would love a trillion in my account, but that's just something, actually, I, but I would love a billion. A trillion, what the f***? Am I, I want trillion, bitch. I like, want trillion. I want it, bitch. A trillion dollars is a lot of money. But that's it. You would Most never of my have money would just be going to helping people, building homeless shelters and doing stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. He's not doing that. So, anyways. Cheers to the freaking weekend. No, honestly, wait. Cheers to the freaking weekend. I just. It's a Friday night. It's 1158 p.m. It's about to be 12. Wait, wait, hold up. It's just Friday. That was Saturday. No, bitch, it's Friday. It'll be Saturday in two minutes. Oh. Okay. Cheers to the freaking weekend. Tindale, if there's like more than a shot, you're supposed to sip on it, baby. You know I don't drink, bitch. I don't know the rules. You should know the rules, but I see something and you are 22. Question number one Who's the messier one? Me. Ricky. I was gonna say Ricky, but I saw him to Ricky. I'm about to lie. I'm gonna lie again. Messy, just not messier in a bad way. Clothes. Just messier as in clothes, messier as in. I'm always the one watching out for Ricky if he would get drunk out somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't really get drunk out somewhere. It was one time, the first time I got drunk on my birthday is when we were both fucked. When I say we were both fucked up. fucked up, we were both so drunk. This was 2018 on my 20s. First. 21st. 21st. 21st birthday, that's when I got drunk for the first time. We were in Portland and I got drunk. I threw drunk. up before Ricky even No, you up. didn't. No. I threw up before you. Oh, I threw up and I was like, Ricky, let's go to this after party. He said, no, I can't go. I'm like, you know what? I'm he did it. Right to the, the, hotel. the thing is with Denzel, he was actually like okay and ready to go to the after party, but I was going to be so f***ed up. I'm so happy it. you were f***ed up because if you were f***ed up, I got to back to the hotel and I threw up. But you were fine though. I was already doing it. The thing was because I was, I was getting drunk for the first time and I didn't use any chase and I wanted to mix cognac with vodka and tequila with no chaser. Yeah. That just was not it. And I just wanted to go with the Big Bang for my 21st birthday because I never really drink. And it's not because I don't like drinking. It's just, I mean, I don't like really drinking, but I feel like I don't like to get drunk because I just don't see the point in it. I have fun. I have, I have 
fun being sober. I just need the music to be popping. If the music is not on, I, I'm a Debbie Downer. I'm not. I need the Cause book. the party don't stop, stop when I, I walk in. Don't, don't stop. Oh. Cause the party don't, don't stop till I walk in. Uh, Denzel is always a DD. Always the DD, and I have no problem being the DD. Everybody gets home safe, I drive everybody home safe, and I'm so, but I see everything that's happening on the party, oh, and I put people on game to what they didn't know they did the night before. Most embarrassing story with a guy. I don't think I have one. Most embarrassing story with a guy. I would have to say, honestly, the story. <laughs> Sorry about you telling me he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna fuck me. Ricky had a fling. And the fling. But talk, when we talk about, talk about the fling, then let me tell y'all something. This fling or whatever, Denzel was already unsure about it because it didn't work out before. It, I just always know when Ricky you know. talks to a guy, when Ricky talks to a boy, I just always know. Ricky just just said, I'm like, it's just not gonna work out. Denzel, you don't see it fast. I just don't. And Ricky's like, you know, sometimes Ricky's like, okay, I don't see either. Or sometimes, well, most of the times, Ricky's like, you know what, Denzel, you're just a hater, you're always being negative. I said, okay, so if you think that it's gonna work, then you try it out. I'm just saying, for me, it's just not gonna work. You don't remember? No. How many times did my car decline when I was talking about his boy's flight? Oh, Rick, Ricky's decline, <laughs> bitch. Ricky's car declined. I'm like, I think it's a sign. I told you him, said that. You're trying to buy this boy his flight. I feel like it's a sign because. God just do know, <laughs> and I know. It ain't gonna be it. If Ricky wants something to work, it's gonna work. However, by the grace of God, this the shit worked after five times, and the boy came. It was cool and everything. Ricky was just like, it's nothing happened yet, and I'm like, nothing happened yet because maybe he's not into you, but we'll see. Maybe he needs to get in the mood. Maybe he needs to be in the field because he's a Capricorn like me. So one day we go out. Ricky and the boy have some drinks. You know, it's a fun time with the group. And Ricky like turns out like I'm just trying to really like you know hook up with him. I'm really trying to do the do. And it's just not happening. I was like, you know what? Let me just get to it. Let me ask him. And let me just see where his head is at. Let me see where his energy is at. Because I remember going with energies and just knowing how people operate, how people work. So I'm talking to him. Let's say like 10 seconds. And I'm just like, it's just not going to be. So I look to Ricky. I'm like, Ricky, he is not going to be. At all. And you're like, really? I said, he's not. And he did he? He did. Nope. I remember one time, Ricky had exposed him. I don't like to use the word exposed. Exposed is such a negative connotation. But Ricky really put him on blast I about did. his activities and called him on FaceTime so I can witness the activities. And the boy looked stupid. Lit oh he played God, Ricky. He fuck. played Ricky the whole time. He and played Ricky the played whole Ricky. time. He played Ricky the whole time. He felt stupid for playing Ricky. He did. Even though he played me, at the end of the day, you'll always feel bad about it because he did try to come back. Like, I don't know what you like, They always come they back. Always come Every time they try to play you, sweetie, they always come Literally. Back. He tried to come back and apologize, and I just didn't take it. I was like, I just don't care because you literally made me look like a dumbass, and I was nice. I really wanted to spend time with you, so I flew you out to LA, and you did me dirty. And let's make this clear, Ricky just don't be flying people out. It was actually Lit getting, I don't I don't know. Let's, let's, let's make be that clear. clear. Let's be very clear, bitch. It was because it was getting serious and yeah. like, you know what, I'll help like why not, you know? It was very serious. Me and this guy we talked for like living like, every like, day. Like, for, three three months. for three months. For three months. Every so, single like, day. Like, I'm like I'm in school, he was in school. He was cool. He was studying to be like a nurse, whatever he was still studying to be. He could pay, but like it's the difference between if you could buy something, you could afford something. He could yeah. buy the ticket, but he could afford the, the ticket. ticket. So he's so like, like, couch is gonna hurt my bank account. Yeah. So because like, you know what? This is well, me, it's for not. Time. Exactly. With him, <laughs> at all. So Ricky was like, you know what? Why not me just extend the olive branch and do so just because we've been really into each other for three months? And that's what happened. I knew it was gonna happen. So yeah, let's How do did you know that? I always know. I always know. Y'all didn't like, get a friend like Gentile because let me tell you something. If you get a friend like Gentile, you would honestly be like happy, safe, everything. Because he'll tell you, if it ain't it, it, it ain't, ain't it. it. Which one of you gets drunk the fastest? Um, Ricky. Me, me. Before it took me forever to get drunk, I remember in 2014 when we first met each other, this was like playlist, try stage. You got drunk in I didn't. Oh. Um, I tried to. Remember one but time we went to the suite? This is like um, November 2014. We're all young kids. We're all young kids. Drinking. Ricky was like 18, I was 16. We were so fucking young. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I didn't want to get drunk, but people are like, you know what, Dentist just drink. You never have fun. You never get drunk. So, you know, okay, fine. I attempted to drink Jack Daniels and I had like about like five shots and I didn't get drunk. Maybe because I was like a cute little 400 pounds, so I didn't feel it. It took, I like, two, it took like two shots to get drunk. So yeah. Use a f***ing lie. If I'm on an empty stomach, uh, AMF can get me f real quick. 
But, okay, but first of all, let's think about that. Never, never. I'm never. never on empty stomach because them bitches always eating. Period. Are y'all seeing anyone right now? Me, Carney, no. Ricky, I feel like you are, right? Um, we don't know about seeing. I would watching. Wa <laughs> wa watching. I feel like I'm over here. I don't know. I feel like, okay, so I'm talking to somebody right now. And it's cute, it's everything, but I feel like we're just not at the point where we're like seeing Serious, each other. Yes. Like, if, if you're seeing somebody, it's like, oh, we're cutting off like everybody else, but like, if he were to talk to other people, I would be upset. Be upset. Yeah. I would be upset. You, you say I would be? You would be. And it's fine. It's you only are, been means, a week. Means, that means you It's care. only been a week, though. Has it been? Yes. Has it been a week? Yes. Oh. Ooh. A bitch, I'm over here slurring my words. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm drunk. Y'all will so never see this message. Y'all will never see this message. Like, I'm so drunk right I now. I feel like it's fun to show the side because I feel like some people be like, oh no, you can't be drunk because you have to stay brand friendly. And I feel like this is our true authentic selves when this we are me. drunk. And it's cool. Yeah, me and Ricky have multiple projects coming out. So you guys should- Multiple, baby. Y'all think that we weren't working because we We, are. we are working professionally, though. It's not like YouTube. Yeah, people. literally. Yeah. Professionally though, we have things coming to work, so just stay tuned for that. How is your love life going? I mean, I don't, oh, I don't have, a, I don't have a love life. I don't have a, I have a like life. Yeah, I like a lot the of. The difference thing with Ricky is that I don't really have a love life, but Ricky do have current situations going on. It, it did what it did. <laughs> <laughs> it did what like it, it did what it did for a year and a half. And Ain't that crazy? A year and a half. And a year and a half. And a It won't. Look, Denzel, yeah, 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 got the drunk. Denzel, right not come back and get the deal, but I will say this: it was not Denzel's fault. It, it was wasn't. Fault. But this is the first time I've ever been like. I'll was, be there for you. This is the first time I was ever into somebody. It didn't. The first, honestly, crazy. The first, <laughs> and I, I, I feel like you know how everything happens for a reason. I feel like I needed to be in this to know that. <laughs> how hard I would go for somebody. And it happened, but I just pulled back because it's just it's just not worth my time. I feel like you should know your worth and I knew my worth and I feel like this person doesn't treat me like I was enough. You know what I mean? No, yeah. Yeah, they wasn't treating me like I was enough and I know how good I am. I'm not gonna stoop low for nobody. I don't give a fuck who you are. So I feel like I knew my worth and this person was just treating me just not the best, like shit, and I just was like, you know what? It's time for me to just boss that up. That shit me off. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? Just let me tell you something. Whoever treats my bitch like shit, like what the fuck? Like I always talk about Denzel, like he's literally the best person you could ever be. And I was, Ricky always time. say that, but like, I'm like, but it's true. To my sister's like, I wish I could date somebody. I like wish that. I could marry Denzel. I wish, but he don't want me. It would never happen. It's perfectly fine. I feel like I came to terms with it. It's fine. And we move on. So that's just what it is with me. And I'm a, I'm a big ass Capricorn. And I'm just not about to stay here and like date. Like Ricky dates. I'm a if, serial date. If you date and you're a serial dater, I really do give kudos to you. Because it's not really that. It's not easy to open up to everybody and just like really put yourself off. If you mess with my friend and tell, literally, let me tell y'all something. People don't understand this because I'm obsessed with you. You already know. This is my best friend in the whole entire world. If you ever fuck with him, bitch, I'll kill you, period. This first is of, it. Yeah, first of all, you can't ever fuck with me, bitch, because I'm the type of you can't ever fuck with <laughs> no, So <laughs> let's be clear on that. Do you ever wish you didn't blow up the No. Room? No. no, I don't really wish that. I don't wish there that. is sometimes that there's some things that me and Vicky wish we could do, but we can't do because <laughs> of the type of people we are. Yeah. And it's fine, like It's okay. Some things we can't disclose. <laughs> there's some things that we are like, bitch, you know, if we weren't the people we are. We talk about this all the time, y'all. All the about. time, because I feel like <sighs> I hate talking like this, but I feel like with being the social media personalities, if some people see so that means I don't yet, because that's I'm not where I want to be yet. If I'm not getting paparazzi, naturally, me, I don't want it. I don't it. want it. But I feel like where we are now, it's like we're in the middle. Like sometimes we can't really, like we don't really mess with or do what some influencers do, but we can't really mess with the big. So that we let the big people look at us differently. Differently. Even so, though we may have more activity and more, more followers, followers than them, than them, they still will look at us at a certain way. Influences, which is perfectly fine. Me and Ricky, we're not the regular type of people who just come on here. We want to be stars and we will be stars. Here we want to be actors, respected actors. We want to do comedy, but also I want to do drama, and Ricky wants to do drama. Okay. We want an Emmy, and we want an Oscar. We will win an Oscar. Oh, my words. We will win an Emmy before, before an Oscar. Oscar. We, it's 2020. Me and Ricky has pitched a show to multiple, multiple, multiple production companies since 2015. 
our previous managers <laughs> <laughs> didn't really they You can talk about it. You did yeah, they're not managers now. Period. They, uh, period. They didn't see our vision, but the script and the outline is everything. And we have it. Whoever picks that script and whatever up, you're going to make money. You're going to win accolades. Okay. Oh, I love that word. I love you said word. Oh, accolades. You know what I, <laughs> I love you said word. We, like this show was was something I thought of myself, and then Ricky. I called Ricky. We talked about it. Ricky put his input, and we put both of our minds together. And it's actually a show Such that a we've good never show. done. And it's just iconic. Um, we, me, and Ricky have professional things other coming out, which is good. We have things coming out that y'all ain't even ready. That took five years to come out, but bitch, time is good. Ooh. Time is fine. Well, God's time is the best. This five is five years. Years to get God's timing is the best timing. Has anybody ever tried to use you for clout? Yes. All the time. All the time. I just know it, and I think it's just so sad. At least be honest with it, bitch. You may get it. <laughs> Uh, you may get it, but the thing is, it like uh, you try. To you get try that. to. I feel like I feel like that cloud thing is just you never want to get cloud from someone else. Yeah, who like wants to ride somebody's coattail? That's so ghetto. I feel like when you ride off someone's coattail, when you're not with that person, you're not associated with that person. That cloud. It's so ugly because it, it doesn't even transfer, bitch. You die. You just die out. Mm -hmm. How long can y'all go without having any form of contact with each other? Okay, so we we went three months. Two. Three. It was two. It was three. I didn't talk. I it was three. I stopped talking to you in March. I talked to you in April. It was, it was, I talked to you in April, like, the second And the only, and let me tell you the sad thing about this is the only reason why you talked to me is because I reached out. That's sad. That's actually sad that you didn't even Okay, we stopped talking March 6th, 20... Because then y'all thought because I said Ricky something had said something. He, I didn't say it, bitch. I, I said never. he said it. Ricky, but why would Ricky, I say something like, like that? Ricky, Ricky, okay, Ricky... You thought I was drunk. I wasn't drunk. I, I, on that you day, I was not. Drunk. I was not okay, on that so basically, day. Basically, what happened, me and Ricky had a conversation. He said something disrespectful and I don't do this. He thought I said something disrespectful because then said, well, he must have back. No, she said, Ricky, you didn't say that. I know okay, I, I, I heard what I heard. You heard what you heard. I called my sister and I confirmed And the thing is, the fact that you didn't even like come to me and tell me what I did wrong. Think it's, Denzel's messed around and punished me for three months, actually. Three, three months, it would have been May. It would have been April. We didn't talk, we didn't, because, we didn't talk March. We talked April, like the second week and of April. And the only reason why we talked is because why? Because we had a business meeting coming up and I texted him so that's sad. Ricky you texted me like I was chopped liver. You were just like I'm not your best bitch, whatever. Who else yeah. you got like me? Who? But I also feel like, I feel like we've been friends. I feel like we needed a break. No, we did not. We did it. We did it. it was you, bitch. The thing is, I knew I was going to talk to Ricky again. I was just like, I'm going to wait for him to call. And then he had- See me! I didn't do a shit, baby. That's awesome. I said, okay, fine. I said, I'm fine with it. So you're telling me if you were ever doing something to me, would you ever call? No, you wouldn't. That's I, I, mean, I would see? never do something to you intentionally. Yes. I never do something yes. intentionally, you know? Yes. I would never. Yes. I have never done something to you intentionally. Never intentionally, but something that you like, you know what? It could have been resolved differently, but I just chose something. It probably could have. Exactly. What was the freakiest thing y'all did? I know you're not gonna tell y'all. <laughs> okay, the freakiest thing I've done was hook up while you were in the room. I was in the bathroom. Who was it? Um, Copenhagen. <laughs> we were at Copenhagen and Ricky hooked up with someone while in the bathroom while I was in the room. Literally, I said, and then the worst that came out that Ricky said he like he stinked. Can I say that? Can I say it? What? Can I say it? Was it? His stink. <laughs> he pulled it out of his pants. I was just like, oh. <laughs> It was literally the most smelly, and the, the thing is that I told Denzel, I said, you have to be quiet. Like, I don't want him to think that you're in the room, too. And Denzel stay quiet. Bitch, I was crying the <laughs> whole time, because I've just never experienced something like that. Well, yeah, guys, that was it for this video. Um, that was me and my best bitch, friend. You yeah. said it! Uh, we're drunk right now. This is a cute Q&A. Right, that was it for this video, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you like to like, comment, subscribe, stop subscribing like I should. You see me, I'm doing it. You watch, I post. You don't watch, I don't post. So watch. And until then, see you later, my darlings. Bye. Toodaloo.